to go up. Uh, I want to go up. Ah. Hello everyone! I'm back with a new time lapse! This time I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created my Mythic Mercy Wings. Where's a good place to... So this is gonna be another walkthrough tutorial... Tu tutorial? It's gonna be another walkthrough tutorial creation style type video. If you are a creator yourself and you're looking at what I'm doing here and you're like, ah, Jessica, <laughs> don't do that! Please feel free to comment down below, offer any help and guidance that you want to. This is, I, I just want anyone to have all the information, access to information that they want or can have during this. So if you want to make it yourself, then please, 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 please. Before I get started though, I want to read some of the comments that you guys left on my Mandalorian video because that was like the first time coming back after so long. We're back. We're three for three now, guys. Nobody jinx it. Okay, let's read some comments. This is from Dylan S. It just says, hi, Cinder. Hello. Insert Titanic meme. It's been 84 years. <laughs> it has been forever and I appreciate you so much that if, if you guys have been sticking around and you guys are still here, that's, that's. Majinagri. gonna make me cry man it says just wanted to say this was amazing love the video the amount of energy and making this fun I'm just starting out on creating things like this so a whole new world for me to explore thank you for being you and for sharing and I look forward to what you will create in the future Lorenzo welcome to the world of welcome to the world of cosplay I hope you have fun and I can't wait to see what you make please share with us we would like to see please okay <laughs> I don't know why I waved bye <laughs> that's the end see you guys <laughs> This next one is from Ali Campus. Ah, you're back. Will we be seeing more videos now? Yes, you will be seeing more videos. I tried to record a lot of what I made last year, so I will be slowly releasing more and more time lapses. I have time lapses up the wazoo, so. I also got a lot of comments about bringing back Mail Monday. I have something so much better planned. We will meet again soon, but not yet. Okay, so creation video time. This is a creation video for my Mythic Mercy that I wore to Katsukon 2019. I wore this in a huge group with a whole bunch of other girls. Please follow all of their social media links down below. They're incredible artists and they were a part of this group and they really brought the group together. All the art was drawn in collaboration with each individual cosplayer by Gladzi K. So Gladzi is responsible for all this goodness. Gladzi spoke with each member of the group to really figure out what design was going to work best for them. She also drew within their boundaries of like what they were comfortable making. It was really awesome because Gladzi was able to customize the looks with the person that was going to be making that thing. Also, if you guys are interested in any of the art or any of the blueprints, Gladzi has them up on her Gumroad. I will put that link down below. You can download it. Um, I use her wing pattern for the... Stop it. Um, <laughs> sound like Hank Hill. I used her wing pattern for the entire process. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, if you have any questions on how I did anything, please comment down below and I'll try to reply as I can. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started! Okay, to start off, I took the pattern that Gladzi has available on her website. You can uh, you can download it, link down below. Um, and I scaled it up, cut it out, and taped it together. Originally, I had made it a little bit too big, so I made a smaller version. This is a really good technique because you can see what it looks like when you stand next to it, and you can see if it actually is going to be proportionate to your body. Since I got everything all sorted out size-wise, I took some PVC pipe and some 45 degree elbows and 90 degree elbows to create a U-bend that would actually sit in the back of my breastplate. Before I moved on to anything else, I cut out the feathers and traced them onto the acrylic and I made sure to number them so I knew which one was which. These were going to be the base of the feathers so I wanted to make sure those were all sketched out and put aside so I could come back to them later. Next was the base of the wing. This is kind of like the little arm part that would essentially attach to your shoulder blade. I just made this out of EVA foam. This is old school EVA foam. I had this laying around, so we use an old school stuff. Created a shape out of the pattern that Gladzi has available and just copied it four times. If you didn't know, taking a heat gun to your foam before you work with it, it's gonna collapse the cells and make it easier to sand and cut through. So always hit your foam with a little before you get started. We needed four of the pieces of these weird little, they kind of look like eel heads. <laughs> we needed to make four eel heads to glue together to essentially create 
a chamber or box that the PVC pipe could lay in and I could also attach the feathers to. This part is gonna act as the main part of the wings, the top part, where all the other feathers are going to come out from. So do a T pose and imagine all of these feathers coming out of your armpit. And that's what, that's what I'm making right now. So I took a long piece of EVA foam and just glued it around the edges and then glued both sides on so it would fit and look good. I took the Dremel to the edges and then to the inside of the circle so I could have a nice, clean, smooth divot. I then glued some EVA foam to the back of those circles so it would be all nice and it, 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 it makes it look like little, like little nuts or like attachments or something. The amazing thing about blueprints and patterns is you, it takes away all of the mental energy that it takes to put something together and it makes it really just psh, psh, cut and dry. So thank you for saving us during Con Crunch. I lined the PVC pipe inside of the main wing so you could kind of see where it was and where it was going to be and then reinforce those bends with Warbler, another thermoplastic. I then placed them on my mannequin to see how they would actually sit on my back and I loved it. Also play I Spy with my craft room, holy fucking shit. This room represents my mental state at this point. <laughs> Cast black crash. Once I was happy where the PVC pipe was going to lay, I put the box together and I reinforced the fuck out of it with glue. Just glue, 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 because this was gonna be the main support system for all of the feathers. So this needed to be strong. You think it's enough? It's never enough. Always glue, hot glue fucking everything. Then it was time to go back to the wings feathers. And you're thinking, Jessica, how the fuck are you gonna cut acrylic? A bandsaw, bitch. Hell yeah, um, we bought a bandsaw and Ryan taught me how to use it. I've used this thing so many times since we bought it. I highly recommend getting power tools. They just, oh my, they, they literally make your life so much easier. Look at that stance, are you kidding me? That is a powerful woman bent leg squat, but probably wear better shoes. Once I was done being a baddie on the bandsaw, I laid them all out to see if it was gonna work with what I was doing. I trimmed off some excess, if there was any, and then I was ready. The Mythic Mercy design has these little caps at the very end of the wings. So I took Gladzi's design and cut out all the individual pieces, traced them out, and made all the caps for the end of the wings. I did this for all the details on the wings. It made it so much easier, so much faster. Oh God. Oh. But yeah, I highly recommend if you ever can use a blueprint or a pattern for something, just do that. It's gonna alleviate all the stress in your mind. It's gonna be fantastic. I used two millimeter foam to alleviate some of the weight on the actual wings. Cause these, these ended up being really, really heavy with the acrylic and the PVC. So any little corners that you can cut as far as weight will help you so much in the long run. I sound like when someone learns a new word and they just use it at every chance they get so they can sound smarter. <laughs> Alleviate the weight. I used a Dremel tool to kind of clean up the edges and round them out to make them a little bit more aerodynamic space NASA zoom. There are 10 feathers, five for each side, front and back. So I went through, I cut out the pattern, traced the pattern onto the foam, cut out the foam, dremeled down the foam, and then glued it onto the acrylic. Now what you see here with the acrylic, I didn't pull the sheet, the protective sheet off the acrylic until the very end so that I could paint, I could spray paint, I could do all the stuff to this acrylic before taking it off. So it would almost act as like a barrier or like a masking tape. If you're wondering, you're like, wait, well, but the, when you take off the masking tape, wouldn't that pull off all your foam and all your, all, all your foam and all your hard work? Who is that? <laughs> I, you'll see later on, I was able to, to cut it off with ease. The tops of the feathers also had some accents and detailing, so I ended up cutting out Gladzi's pattern, tracing it onto some other cardboard so that I could create a foldable pattern so I could just make one singular piece per feather and fold it over top. This would also create a little bit more structure and it would also make it a little easier. Instead of building a box for each piece, I could just fold it over and glue it on. So much easier. I used two millimeter Millimeter. I used two millimeter foam for this part as well. What the fuck? <laughs> two mil two mil two millimeter foam. I used lots of two millimeter foam all over this costume. Again, another process of putting one of these little these little caps on each wing. There's five wings each side, so ten wings. So I had to do that ten times. Look at the tweet I just liked. Did you like a tweet? My my uh my phone's not here. Did you just burp? <laughs> There's even more detailing on top of that detailing. 
I figured out a way to make um, independent little boxes that I would seal paint and spray paint and shade and all that kind of stuff independent of the wings. This made it a lot easier because then I could just glue it afterwards instead of having these huge chonkin wings that I had to sit there and meticulously paint. So it worked out really well. Another cool thing you can do with foam is you can place your blade into the foam at a, a, a small angle and gently place it and cut through the foam without going all the way through it and you can create these cool beveled grooves. So I did that with a bunch of the things as well. So to, just to give it a little extra detailing without having to add more foam. Bill Duran explains it really well so I'll put that little explanation down below. I made 20 of these little boxes, then I glued them together with a little thin piece on the top to make them like almost like a little U, a little sandwich that I could just slide on top of the wing. It took a little while just because they're all different sizes because each wing is a different size, but I was happy with the results! I had started to stray from our Lord and Savior Gladys pattern a little bit, so I took some masking tape and made my own little pattern that was very, very close to what Gladzi had made. Um, I wanted to still stay as close as possible, but obviously making alterations that would help me in the long run, because I think Katsukon was like a week out at this point, and I was kind of like, <laughs> I just, you know, I kind of zoomed it. Um, There's a lot more details on Gladzi's design, and I may have skipped it. Just take creative liberties where you want if you can, if it's gonna make your mind feel good, I'm gonna tell you all again, the five foot rule is a great rule to always abide by because at the end of the day, when you look at all of this together, you're gonna be like, holy fucking shit, I made acrylic wings. And that's what's important. Not the tiny little things that you missed. I am very adamant about the fact that if it's gonna totally fuck with you mentally, do not put yourself through that. Just enjoy, it's a costume, have a good time. It's not worth it. I wasn't quite done with the little box things, so I cut down some excess foam, sanded them down, and then sealed and painted them. <sighs> sand, paint, and prime. Wait, sand, prime, and paint. It's metallic paint. Everyone dance. Everyone dance. Uh, and then I painted the top with white acrylic. I forgot to record it, but we had all, I, I had already personally decided that I didn't want to do any lights on the wings or on the costume at all. So Gladzi actually suggested this Pearl X pigmented powder stuff that it, when mixed with like a liquid or like a glue, you can paint it on the back of like a gem or on some clear warbler and it makes it all like clear and flashy and, and, and reflective. We all used this for our costumes, so it was really, really unified. It was awesome, I loved it. I didn't have to do lights. I didn't have to bother with those string lights. It was fucking awesome. And then I just glued it into the little boxes that I made. It was it's such a great alternative. So I just painted it onto some blue cardstock and then put that onto some clear warblers so that would be a little bit more shiny and then glued it to the inside of the little boxes that I made. It also eliminated a ton of weight because adding lights would mean batteries and LEDs and all this extra stuff. This is me just adding the little scores to the edge. So just a little extra detailing without adding more. Give me a kiss. I want you to give me a kiss! <laughs> <laughs> Look at crazy person! I'm crazy for kisses! <laughs> he keeps coming in to say hi while I'm recording. Um, I glued on the boxes and then I painted black underneath to kind of bring it all together. And then, super freaking carefully, took a, bl a blade and started carefully cutting and peeling off that protective paper on the acrylic. I also took some high grit sandpaper and sanded down the edges of the acrylic so it would look nice and round and it actually helps create a definitive line when light passes through. Here's me just gluing on some more of those boxes and then taking more of the uh, little paper stuff off the, off the acrylic. And also the, uh, the foam didn't end up coming off so I was, I was really happy. There was a moment where I was like, <laughs> I've spent all this time gluing this onto this paper. As soon as I pull this paper off, it's, it's done. It's gonna fall off. No, it didn't, I was happy. The only thing I will say is just be careful with your blade and cutting too deep into the paper and having it etch itself onto the acrylic. So you might think, because you have so many heavy acrylic feathers for these wings, Jessica, that are going to be suspended on your back, you are gonna, you're going to drill holes in it to keep them there, right? You're going you're gonna to do something that's effective and it's, <laughs> it's going to stay. No. I used foam and hot glue and I just hot glued that shit in. There's a reason why my bio on everything says hot glue and hoe dreams because I'm literally just praying that my life is going to stay together with hot glue. It works. But yeah, if you want, you can actually use uh, screws and drills and, and like nuts and bolts and like actually keep it in. But I just used so much hot glue. I was careful not to get the other side of the acrylic. 
and then uh, I just painted the extra bit on top, the little, the little baby. Because I was gonna be like fandangling it and gluing it, I waited for the extra painting and everything after. Also, this is super late in the video, but if you are a crafter yourself and you know of a different way or a different way to adhere things or just anything at all that's better option, please comment down below so people can get the info. I'm so good at recording things for a time lapse that I completely forgot to record the airbrushing phase, but I just used a black uh, airbrush on the white parts and then a nice brown for the gold parts. I threw away the little harness thing that I used for the wings, so I made one really quick and I'm just going to show you guys how I place my wings on my back. I learned this from so many other Mercy Wing tutorials, there's one by Stella Chu, there's one by Shappy Workshop, um, I'll put all the links down below but what I essentially did was I took the little PVC U and I slid it just right into the back of the breastplate. This it, it hurt. <laughs> the wings are really heavy and it, it hurt. I also had a strap across here to hold the wings tightly together because the the natural flex of the PVC wants to splay out. I also really really recommend drilling a hole through the elbow piece and the PVC pipe so you can put a screw in that'll attach it. So many times I was bouncing around and these wings just popped right off the top of that PV PVC pipe. So if you don't have it lodged down in there solid, it's just gonna go bloop. So right through there would be perfect. I would also really recommend super gluing those little elbows at the bottom down together. You just slip those wings uh, yeah. right in there. Um. Oh, oh, oh. As you can see, these are very heavy, so to have someone there to help you out, to pull them out off your back during the convention or during the photo shoot is just incredible as well. So always make sure that if you're gonna have a larger costume and a larger build, that you have someone as like your designated handler. Always treat your handlers with love, respect, and kindness because they are doing that out of the goodness of their heart. But yes, Ryan was there to help me all throughout CatsCon whenever I needed a break, and he was able to pop those off, and I was able to rest. So there we have it! The fucking Mercy Wing hair, hair tutorial, <laughs> wing tutorial, god damn it. You finished it! Yay! That was part one of my Mythic Mercy creation video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to be posting the rest of the armor tutorial for the actual body part of the costume. Uh, probably next, or I'll, I'll skip it and I'll do another costume and then I'll come back to the Mercy one. But let me know if you guys like these more short format part videos more than like the huge colossal... Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your positive comments and just, just letting me know that you guys watched it and just telling me your favorite Animal Crossing characters and everything. I, I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to follow me on other social networks, I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, I have um, this YouTube. You can like and subscribe if you like. If not, that's okay too. Um, I also have a Patreon and an OnlyFans. I have those things in case you're like, I don't follow you for crafting videos. And I go, okay, yeah, for sure. Uh, if you're into that, hell yeah. If not, no worries. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And thank you so much for just being here. I appreciate it. I can't wait to make new stuff. And I can't wait to make more videos. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys later.